Warning, the following broadcast of the Minute Together podcast starring two of the five more educated members of the mediocre chart racing pop rock band Massive Wagons may contain swearing. We apologise if it causes offence. All opinions are our own. Bend it together. Right. Anyway, which this is uh, the me, um, reasonably popular, I suppose. Um, amongst pod- amongst our family members, anyway. Yeah, my mum likes it. Podcast, um, bin it together. You can see it up there, look, obviously. Just about, it's just in frame. Just in frame. Yep. Uh, um, well, th- this is where we take your things you don't like and maybe put them in the bin. Dissect them. Maybe don't put them in the bin. <laughs> it's a bit like brain surgery, but it requires no brains. No, this is far more serious. Far more serious. Far more serious game serious. we're playing here. Yep. Uh, so let's get right into it. Let's get stuck into it then. Let's get stuck into it. Right into <laughs> number one. Number one. Right, okay, okay. we've got, we got one here from um, Pete Sowerby. Old mate Pete. Old mate Pete, yeah. I, I, my, I went to my first, my first ever live my first ever live gig. Did you really? Pete. I did, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. First ever band I ever went to watch was with Pete. Who was that? In fact, the first two ever bands ever. Uh, it was uh, Pulp at Morecambe Dome. Oh, right. I was 16. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then we went to watch a band called Echo Belly, oddly enough, at the Sugar House in Lancaster. All oh, right. That was we're the pl- second ever gig I went to. We're playing to. there on Sunday. We are playing there on Sunday, yeah. Yeah. To that, man, Pete. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a lovely guy, and he, he's a, he's a one of our beloved patron supporters oh. as well. So, uh, high five to Pete. I'll take me a 15-year-old's <laughs> BMX cap off. Here we go. Anyway, we go. so what, say, anyway. Pete, what Pete wants to put in the bin is anyway. turkey teeth and hair. <laughs> now, Baz, can you explain for those unaware? Because I wasn't entirely sure myself. Turkey hair is that like a? Is it like what, a little thing? I thought. I thought it was. Yeah. No, I, don't I think, know. I think what, what it what's is turkey teeth. Turkey teeth. Well, I wouldn't know because uh, I, um, I've, I've never been to Turkey. Um, is turkey teeth. Is, I believe it's when people people. What happens is people people who want the teeth straightening or want the teeth correcting or want oh, one of them God. like. You know, like a hing. They want to look like Dale Winton. Uh, God rest his soul. Um, but they, they go and have them replaced. Right. I think, I don't know the process, I think they have them filed down and then and then oh. like, teeth put on or new teeth put in. It's not really? whitening or straightening. It's like a full set, a full replacement job. I that's, think that's what it is. That's quite And they disturbing. go to Turkey because it's cheap. It's cheap to do. It's then. cheap to do. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, people out there. And, 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 and I've never heard of Turkey hair before, but I'm assuming... It's a similar thing. It's the same thing. Is it like the, the like the Wayne Rooney job? You know, I think so. He, uh, yeah, yeah. It's probably cheap. Yeah, <laughs> cheap, <laughs> cheap, cheap, <laughs> cheap, cheap. Oh, well, yeah. anyway, this is this is um, this is Pete's reasoning for wanting to put turkey um, teeth and hair mm-hmm. into okay. the bin. So number one, yeah. Come on, last week you had a mouth like Stonehenge <laughs> and a head as busy as a Jimmy Savile fan club. A <laughs> bald, oh, dear. Yeah, I'm guessing he means it's not. It's pretty sparse. Oh dear, thin, a bit thin on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now you look like you should be presenting supermarket sweeps. It's funny you mentioned that. Hey, actually, you know. yeah, what are the chances? You know. He's like the go-to. Um, he is handsome dude, isn't he? Yeah. Well, I, I, th- going back to Wayne Rooney, I remember there was a thing, and and I think he he did it well, really, because he he come out just in it like day one. He got the he got the hair plugs done, you know, like what he he, he looked like a sort of. He looks like know, a turtle without a shell, doesn't he? He does. Well, he did. He, he looked like. Um, I don't know, maybe like a, I don't know what to, how to describe it. Maybe like an ado- look, he, adolescent troll. You know, he looks that like that. He looks like what's the name of that giant thing off Never Ending Story? Story that sneezes on him. Molar. Molar. He looks yeah. a bit like that, doesn't he? <coughs> Some sort of golem, maybe. He, and um, he won't be watching this. He won't be. Bothered. Oh, he won't. He won't be. He won't I'm, be sure he I'm, sure, I'm sure he doesn't care. But you know what I mean. And then the very next day, bang! You know, Raven's wing. <laughs> <laughs> His. Fucking raven swing. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, yeah. But you know, so so straight away, <laughs> so straight away, rather than Keegan, rather than let it, you know, um, he might like, just turn up and sort of like hoping no one would say anything. Uh, he, he, you know, he took a picture in the back of the car on the way back from, I don't know, I don't think it was Turkey. Do you know what? But, Fair fucks. Yeah, and he there's was, no like sneaking exactly. in, like or wearing a hat for a bit, or or getting bits done and then going back and getting no, a bit no, more. No. It's like, look, lads, look at me earplugs. Yeah, yeah, he, he come out, and, and and you know what? I, I think doing that get the jokes out your system, lads. And yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's the way to handle this. <laughs> I think there's so. no shame in it. There's no shame in it. But like, then again. I bet he didn't go to Turkey for it. He wouldn't have done. I I, he's didn't. got a few quid, and he Wayne Rooney. He so wouldn't have gone to Turkey for it on the ch- on the cheap. No, nah. but I, let, me, let me tell you, I have seen not the hair thing, but the turkey, the teeth. I have seen a few a few videos on social media of people who have gone to Turkey and had their teeth done, and it has ended up they've ended up like like sm- like cracking and smashing. Oh God! That's and they're awful. left with like a full set of teeth, but they're like they're like taking them out in two halves, and because because their original teeth, I think. 
you destroy them to put these. To, yeah, they're like it's like they're like plugs, well, aren't they? But like a. I'm assuming what this is what he goes on horrendous. to say, really. So point number two. Right, well, point number one. I think he, he's he's saying you know that you're not fooling anyone. You know, no, Cause no. People who know you certainly aren't gonna <laughs> kind of fucking red rum. Yeah, you you come uh, you you turn up one day and suddenly yeah you've um, you got the full booth on going. Yeah. It's you know, but but I, I think I'm take I'm taking that Pete's Pete's issue with this isn't people who go and you know sort that sort these things out. You know, I'm I'm pretty sure he's got no problem with that. It's it's doing it like on the cheap. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like going and doing it in Turkey and sort of making it doing a naff job of it basically. And you yeah, know, it's, even, it's very to miss, isn't it? Even when you're meeting new people, they're surely going to look mean, at them and go, "That's I mean, that's a wig." If I was how many horror stories? I know, I know he hasn't mentioned it, but how many horror stories have you seen of wi- of like women going and getting uh, plastic surgery stuff, or yeah. breast implants or or whatever done facial reconstruction stuff? And they go abroad. I'm going to flip in. You know, I've got a turkey to get it done. It's like you immediately go really. Ooh, are you really? Yeah. Say, but if it means it's your face, yeah, it's, it's your face. You've only, got, you've only got one of them. Um, you know. So I would. I don't know. I know it's not. I know it's not cheap and everything. I, I realise that. But if it was me and I cared what I look like, um, <laughs> I would save up. I would save up and save up and save up until I could afford the best I could afford. Exactly. Myself, anyway. Exactly. Imagine having to live with it. You see the pictures of some people living with the consequences of... Mm. Man, man. man. No, I mean, these videos of these people, these teeth, they're green tears online, on in tears. Yeah. You know, they sort of start telling you about the story, about the teeth, and they take them out and they start crying. And it's like, your job's well, not I mean, I mean, you say cheap, it's... I imagine, well, I'm not, not looked into cheap, this, but... it's, still, it's like relatively cheap, but it's still a lot of money, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's a gamble, isn't it? It is a massive gamble. Point number two, <laughs> there's some good-looking bald fellas out there now. Bruce Willis, Jason Statham, Pete Sowerby. Pete Sowerby. <laughs> now, Pete, Pete Sowerby, as, you, as you've uh, probably gathered by now, is um, f- follically... Um, uh, I won't say challenged, but he's... Um, he's fo- follically... Uh, he's he's, a, ha- he's, he's a, very, a follic wasteland. He, he's a very handsome, bald man. He is, yeah. But he is very handsome. Very uh, handsome. Let he's very handsome. For the record. So, so he's, he's, what he's saying here is there's nothing wrong. With being bald, you know. Has Pete got great teeth? I don't know. I never, I never noticed. To be I don't honest. know. I, you know, I've, I've, I've obviously seen him out and about, but um, I, I don't know. Teeth's a tough one. Well, there's hair, hair you can do nothing about, can you? If it's going to fall out, it's going to fall out. You either embrace it or or become embarrassed about it. Embrace, embrace, embrace it. the baldness. Embrace the baldness, like Pete's done, or Alex. Alex has done it. Alex looks, dang, Alex looks fucking great with. It's just he shaved his hair from it myself. Um, but teeth, teeth are another weird one. That's where you look after your teeth. Make sure you well, he's, he's, this, this point number two is specifically talking about hair. I mean, I, I kind of understand the teeth. I mean, you're not in any... You're, let's, let's get one thing straight. You're not really in any position to, to sort of judge anyone's hair because you come from a long line of extremely well-haired men. <laughs> I know your family <laughs> generations back, and yeah. they, even in their seventies and eighties, they're all like, "Hi, <laughs> hi there! I can't see you for my hair." Johnny oh. Bravo, Johnny type, family yeah. of Johnny Bravos, your yeah. uncle and your granddad. Well, yeah, but well, that's that's the set. We're, talk, we're talking about Alex, my brother, uh, drummer in the band. He um, he's like the the complete. Um, you know, black sheep of the family, so to speak. He totally. <laughs> he's a bald sheep of the he's family. A bald sheep of the family. <laughs> he's. Um, he was thinning. He was sort of going at the sides, and then I think I think everyone sort of bullied him into uh, yeah, just yeah. shaving it. But as a result, he, he I think every, I don't think anyone out there says, "Oh, he looked," um, you know, it doesn't look worse no, no, at all. No, you know? No, he, no, he, he, he totally suits it, especially with a beard. You know, yeah, definitely. But that, that's it though, because that's the same thing. He's kind of now committed to having a beard for the rest of his life. Otherwise, <laughs> it's like Bowser. Otherwise, it looked like a I don't know a cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It's so hard to talk about these things when it hasn't happened to you, isn't it? It is. It you is. Know, the, the, like the taking that taking that step and, sh- and deciding to well, shave it off. I well, don't know. It's tough, isn't it? But this is the point. This is this is what I'm trying to sort of focus on, really, because Pete isn't saying people that go and get hair plugs or whatever. It's just doing it in Turkey on the cheap. It, taking that gamble. Taking that gamble. Why would you take yeah. the gamble? Why would you take the gamble? Point number three: Katie Price shark teeth photo look it up now just before oh. we flick this episode on you did look it up should i find it i'll flash i'll flash it on screen flash, I'll it, flash, on flash, screen. It, I'll flash it on screen for Katie those price. who are in nervous disposition uh turn off your close your eyes right now Katie price is in my uh okay in my google uh google search <laughs> history shouldn't take long to find <laughs> <laughs> but no i've seen this picture and as you've seen on screen there it's it's, it's terrifying it's awful and it's and it's what you said before it's what they do to your teeth before they well, my dad's got false teeth. Cap him. My dad's got false teeth, but he, he he has had them for a long time, and he's got 
just just false teeth. But I suppose you go into Turkey, you you are getting false teeth, aren't you? And yeah. destroying perfectly healthy teeth on the search for bright white, pristine. <laughs> but and, and and I've got to be honest, I I, I think it looks ridiculous. It does the teeth thing? I it, think I think they're meant to be a little discoloured. They're meant to be. Oh, they are. A bit of character. They're the, uh, like the enamel, like the chemistry. It, it's. No, it's unnatural. I don't it's know totally where unnatural. that bright whiteness comes from, has to come from with that obsession with bright white. Th- is it a social media thing? I think this is more of an American thing, to be honest. It's like in the UK, I don't think we care as much, and it's why we have this reputation to Americans as as being like you know, scum. Our dental hygiene is lacking <laughs> because we're not all walking around with like you know, ding, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Bright, bright white, shiny teeth, which I think I think is an un- unrealistic expectation to set of a. Uh, it's probably comes from like People. American TV and American movies and yeah, it's it's like look after your teeth. I'm not not saying not saying don't look after your teeth. I'm saying don't brush your teeth. You know, I give these teeth a good a good brush once a week. <laughs> look after them, but that doesn't mean they have to be shiny and white. You know, no, I, I, it's not for me. Like it's not for me. I've got to be honest. No, not for me. So no. yeah, going going to Turkey to sort your teeth out. It's the cheap option, isn't it? That's basically what it is. It's the cheap option. And your uh, and your and risk. your hair out. Yeah, you're taking a risk with your own health, aren't you? So. Oh, I did. I did see. I did see another alternative. Um, a bag. Someone just who... get a big bag for your head. <laughs> someone... <laughs> just cats, you know. Um, like they, it's like a tattoo, but it's not. It's like fine dots of tattoo, so it looks like you've kind of got like a shadow. Yeah. You know that. You that. Know, I've seen some amazing tattoo stuff lately. Right. I saw. Um, I saw somebody a photograph of somebody who had had um, a finger end, lost a finger end. It wasn't a massive. It wasn't a massive off. It was like it was like that much, and, and they tattooed uh, a, fin- a fingernail. All right. Just yeah. to give them, just to make it look. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And I tell you what else is amazing when they have when women have breast cancer, they lose a breast, and then they have um, an, a follow a friend with a tattooist online, and they do have like, breast reconstruction, and they tattoo nipples on again, and it's, so it looks real. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's like unbelievable. It's like a confidence thing, isn't it? You know. And yeah, of course. It's amazing. Absolutely incredible. And and, work. and 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 again to reiterate with this, you know. People, people that want to do that, we're not, we're not slagging that off. You know, if you want to go and sort your teeth out, going to sort your uh, hair out, um, so you don't look, you know, bald and ridiculous. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> only joking, only joking. Bald is everywhere. Turn it only off. Only joking, only joking. Um, <laughs> then, then fine. You know, uh, that's not think the point here. It. It's, 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 it's like to, to do, doing it. a crap job of it. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it, sort it proper. Although, although on the other hand. You see celebrities who I'm not who you would imagine have great contacts and have a bit of cash to spend on it. Sometimes it come, they, they end up looking ridiculous, don't they? Yeah, they come walking in and it's like, you know, they're like hairs hovering above them, like a. What do you think? Like, like a great, like a flying saucer. It's, yeah, it's like, like, come on. I know people with lots and lots of money who should know better, and, and they've just gone to the wrong people, and it's just they look horrific. Yeah. Um, do they think they look horrific? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yeah. what to think of it really. But anyway, going going and doing it on the cheap in Turkey. Turkey hair and teeth, I think, is going in the bin. Go, get it in the bin. <laughs> get it in the bin. Look after yourselves. You deserve it. Look after yourself. Save up. Save up a bit of cash. I know it's difficult these days, but or embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace exactly. the hair off like lost like Pete. Yeah? Or just you know brush your teeth. Or just brush your teeth. You dirty skank. <laughs> you dirty skank. <laughs> Fucking brush your teeth. <laughs> anyway, what's next? There you go. Well is done, Pete. It? Cheers oh, for that, mate. Thank you very much. Bin. All right, we'll go. We'll, We've had a few more in this week. Well done, thanks. If you said you have, I think the I think the stern talking to we gave everybody last week, the people have actually sent um, sent them in with three reasons, which is good. You're yeah. starting, you're starting to get, you're starting to understand how this works. The it's dynamic, operates, the dynamic. It's good. But this was now we're gonna have one from me. If that's all right. Go on then. I enjoyed that one last week. It was a jigsaws. It didn't go in. I'm gonna become obsessed with doing this until I get one in. All right. All right. Go on then. So this is this is this week's dishwashers. Ah, dishwashers. Are you listening at home? Have you got a dishwasher? You go, on go, on go, 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 go on there, give, give us your reasons, <laughs> dishwashers. Oh, nearly the camera over there, I got a bit excited, didn't I? Uh, the ultimate lazy bastard piece of technology ever invented. Yeah, um, go on, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Uh, I do, but... This, this could be tense. It could no, no, I, I'm... I'm it could actually, be a barrier up here I'm, I'm, I'm before side, the end of the I'm year. I'm siding with you. I, I, think, right? I think the garbage, Ooh. yeah. It's winning it over you. Right. By the time you have rinsed all the food off the dishes ready to be washed and loaded the fucker... <laughs> I wrote this when I was angry. I don't swear this much, honestly. You could have washed them by hand. Plus, the stuff's never dry after it's done. Exactly. Yeah. That. that to be honest, that is, that's the main point. 
like I used, I used to put them in, and my my other half would, you know. I never knew that. You see, would until I... would, would would tell me off. She'd be like, "You can't do that. Them plates are dirty." And it's like, what's the bloody point then? You know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have to rinse them, so I'd give them a quick rinse yeah. in the drainer, and and then, and then she'd be like, "No, there's still there's still bits of food on it." And it's like, "What what is this machine for then?" It's to fill a gap, it? is it? What is it? Yeah. You, you Let's know, get a mini bar. I get it. Get you, rid of it. I get it. You don't put it in if there's like half a pork chop on it. You no, know, no, no. I know that, but you know, it's got a filter. As long as you, uh, you know. Yeah, the, that's the, the point the, of it. But then before you before before you wash your pots in the sink, you scrape what's left of the food in the bin, don't you? But with them with them dishwashers, you seem to have to <clears> rinse <throat> everything before you put it in. And, <coughs> yeah. And and even then, when when they come out, they're, they're not clean. No. They're not always clean, are they? No, you can't overload them. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't have that point. That's another one. Yeah, you can't. You can't, can't put, put too much in. Don't put too much can't in. Put too much in. And they're Ooh. also quite uneconomic. Oh, you know, it, it's, 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 have I, it's, it's, I don't even need to raise yeah. the points anymore. He's, he's <laughs> run away with it. I've, I've flicked a switch, haven't I? Huh? Go on then. Is that uh, your next point? The, well, I've got a couple to be honest. The price of tablets oh, compared only to what? <laughs> <laughs> not special rules. Not special rules here. <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit. Price of tablets compared to washing up liquid. Yeah, the tablets are expensive. There you go. Yeah. Uh, waste of water and energy. Well, I don't know. I, I actually don't know about how much. Well, water I know that doesn't cost use. me anything. Well, <laughs> does it? Huh? <laughs> no, so, it doesn't. So to speak. Just your, just your eyesight. Just my eyesight. And <laughs> and what do you do when you got to get rid of it? The dishwasher? Yeah. It's just a mount. There's a mountain of white yeah. goods somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, well, at the end. Hey, these last forever, don't they? Eh? Well, you know. That's his hands for That's the benefit of those on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> these yeah. last forever. <laughs> could, be, could be holding anything out. <laughs> that was his hands he was holding out then. Yeah, yeah. The, my hands, you know. Yeah, I... Um, I, I can't. I can't think of. I can't. Th no. And like, sometimes with these things, I can think of an argument. I myself cannot think of a reason to have one. Expensive as well. The expense, energy, water, tablets, yeah. getting rid of the damn thing if it breaks. It's not just that. Well, maybe, maybe it's me. They I, don't I, do a great job. They don't dry stuff. Anyway, I, I, I moving into our new house. It was mm -hmm. uh, we we didn't have a dishwasher, and it was it was a, a requirement of my uh, my my other half. And she, and I was I was arguing against it mm -hmm. for all the pretty much all these exact reasons. I don't mind washing up, you know. Yeah, well. I, I just I just wash up as a go when you're cooking, and yeah, then it's that's like, it, yeah. And so what um, to do, innit, while you're uh, frying your, your onions? Wait for your Frey Bentos pie to uh, <laughs> microwave. Well, if you're eating one of them, you don't need to do any washing up. That's the beauty <laughs> of a Frey Bentos. You eat it out of the tin, you see? Yeah, you, you can do that. One fork. And uh, and, and and then it's like, you know, and, and then it's all these added rules. Like you, like you said, you can't overload it. You've got to make sure more, like 90% of the food is off the plate to begin yeah. with. Um, now with all these other rules have been added. Oh, I can't put certain glasses in there because they come <laughs> out like... Um, stained not dishwasher or, safe stuff. Yeah, exactly. Not dishwasher What's the point? safe. Yeah, there's another one. There's about ten now. Not dishwasher safe. Not dishwasher safe. You never got um, not sink safe on stuff, do you? And it, and it's just like, oh, you know, it's, they are more trouble than they're worth, and they become something like people don't think about, and they just use it. But then, it, if you lost it and you were forced to live without it, I don't think people would miss it. But no. then you get these people that go, "Oh no, I I love my dishwasher. I love my dishwasher. I love my like, dishwasher. Like, you really, you really love your dishwasher. Get out of the house. Get alive. Go and get some friends. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Yeah, I, I I think it's a total first world luxury, you know. And I, yeah. I, I think unless it's like some industrial uh, restaurant, yes, kind of. You know, bang! You shut the thing, and it absolutely unless you're going to spend it. twenty grand on one, it's just a way and, and it's an absolute nece necessity for um yeah for the business or whatever. Then then <laughs> and, and, and I think no for a home for a, your average family, utterly ridiculous. Wash up, yeah, wash, wash up, up yeah. by the good old days. Get, get, eh? get, your, get your marigolds out. Get down the canal with your bucket full of <laughs> yeah, get down the river. Yeah, it doesn't even cost any. <laughs> just, yeah, it doesn't even cost. Use the water that. Just use the water that's there, isn't it? Yeah. It's full of turds now, isn't it? Because yeah. because of the uh, the government. Anyway, that's, that's another podcast. Was there any more points? Uh, no, that, I don't think we need any more points. To be honest, no. I think I think we've sunk it. The battleship is sunk. And, you know, unless yes. you're gonna, unless something's going to you're going to think. No, of no, I, I'm, 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 I'm actually like the look of them or something, or you I'm collect them or something. Fully with you. I'm fully in agreement. It's and and place to put your magnets, I suppose. And like you said, it, well, no, because I mean, we've got, got like fridge, you no, fridge? no. This is the other thing. No one could see the dishwasher. It has to have the matching wooden panel. <laughs> oh, I see. In the kitchen. Well, you well, you could have, what could you have in there? You could have you could have a space for your uh, your whiskey. Or your whiskey's could go in there. No, they've got to be on display. They've got. Right, okay. They've got to be visible. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, if you're a single bloke living at home, you can, that's where you can put all your empty washing up liquid bottles, isn't it? And, it is, uh, yeah. <laughs> stuff you can't be asked for it out. But, yeah, they, they, I, th I think there are. I think there are 
In ta- in, uh, I think they're just too too yes. too much of a, a modern luxury. Yeah. Really. And I think we could do without one. If you, if you own one, shame on you. And they, don't shame save, on you. they don't even save time. People go, but save time because you just load the dishwasher and then it's cleaned them. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but... What do they do? They then transport themselves magically back into the cupboards. I want to have a. I'd like to. I'd like to have a race with somebody. Uh, well, we'll have a pile of pots and a dishwasher. I'll wash and dry and put it away, and we'll see who does. See who gets it done see first. See it done fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, uh, I guarantee I'll be sat down, you know, smoking a fag before <laughs> you will, yeah. even though I don't smoke. <coughs> yeah. So yeah. to speak. I, th- I think it's. Um, I think. I think they're ridiculous. Yeah, they're going in the bin. Get them in the bin. Get them in the bin. <laughs> Get it, press the button then. Come on. Wow. Don't leave me hanging. Nice one. That's what Bang. I've been waiting for. That's two. Two fair. We've got two, two out of two. Fair. Two in the two. Yeah. Never, that's never happened in seven weeks. In seven episodes. Wow. <laughs> huh? Crazy. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to be happy all day now. Dishwashers, get in the bin. Right. If you have a suggestion for Bin It Together, if you want to check us out on on mm. uh, on Patreon um, mm, for all the, other, all the other stuff we do, then uh, go, go look it up. Uh, leave the links below and check our website. It's everywhere. You yeah. can't miss it. You can't miss it. You're you can't miss it. To be honest, um, you probably blocked it from your. Uh, however you do that, <laughs> I don't know. I'm but a Commodore 64. You can't even get on the internet with that. Thanks very much, Pete, and uh, yep. thanks, Baz. Yeah, for right. more than welcome. Dishwashers are now in the bin. You can't use yours anymore if you've got one. Get it out of the They're house. Gone. They're gone. They're in the bin. Get a mini bar. Yeah. Find something else. Get rid of it. Plug up that always something you've always wanted. I don't know. Yeah. Get something cool in there. Put the kids in there. Or something. something useful. Dog. Uh, yeah. Mm. Anyway, till next week. Next week. Keep sending them in. Free reasons, remember. Rock on. <laughs>